Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker! Miss Parker! Can I talk Told to you for a minute, Miss Parker? We be letting you know. Evil lurks. Ooh, ooh. Let me start this video off by saying I didn't vote for this woman. I saw the hook way before it came. I saw that she was running around here talking about some hot sauce. Uh, they asked her who her favorite living rapper was. She said, Fight Dog. The bitch is a con artist. She's a scammer, a sly, slick, uh, and scandalous motherfucker. Uh, that being said, she's your vice president, potential president, right? This is a woman who they elected in uh, based on her blackness, even though all the way prior to this uh, election, she was a Indian. She has never really claimed black. She's claimed Jamaican, uh, which, you know, there's Asian Jamaicans and whatnot, but not black. Uh, needless to say, she did go to HBCU. She's been qualified. She does some little jig. Uh, so in a lot of people's minds, she's black. She's a black woman, right? But I, okay, cool. She's a black woman. You elected her in the office. She got in the office with a uh, sleepy Joe, right? And I'm not, I'm not a pro Trump fan. I, and don't get me wrong. I didn't, I didn't go vote for Trump. I didn't vote for anybody because nobody gave me any indication that they were going to do anything for black people. So that's where my vote lies, right? But we're going to, we're going to move past that. Y'all voted this woman in only for her to tell you she's not going to do anything for black people. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Boom. Just in case y'all didn't believe me, there's a receipt. But we're going to fast forward past this, right? It's my belief that Kamala is a pawn that was put on black people. And what do I mean by that? The political parties will give you somebody who is of African descent, who does not identify as black, instead of offering you tangibles for your vote. So instead of saying, hey, I will do this for black people, they just say, we got Kamala, she's black, hot sauce in my bag. And niggas fall for it every time. Did you know that it's okay to not vote if you're not getting anything for your vote? But back to Kamala. Kamala recently got up and was trying to push the vaccine on people. All right, cool. We already get it, right? She's a pawn. She's here to placate to black people and to really go out there and sell y'all a dream. My issue is this. How fucking stupid do you think black people are? All you got to do is go out there and preach a little sermon, say a little bit about the Lord, niggas will hop to it. Is that what you think is going on? Tell you what, this is what we'll do. Y'all, watch the video, then get back to me, family. Get back to me, and then we'll have this conversation. I do believe that the act of getting vaccinated is the very essence, the very essence of what the Bible tells us when it says, love thy neighbor. Nigga, what? Now see, in the book, in the book of the good prophet, future it says from the streets did she emerge and to the streets she re return and i say unto you kamala is for the streets white supremacists ain't stupid these motherfuckers know your every move they know that the majority of black folks are addicted to the church they'll follow anything as long as it comes with the lord attached to it they also know that if they have somebody who looks like them it can be claimed as black they'll also follow that person they know niggas better than niggas know themselves right because what we know is one can ask well who is one's neighbor is it the person who lives to my left, lives to my right? I know them, may borrow a cup of sugar, right? Um, but what we know it means when we talk about love thy neighbor is that yes, it may be the person next door and it may be the man on the side of the road and it may be a perfect stranger. And in the face of that stranger, you see a friend. That's what this is about. And so by getting vaccinated, you are loving your neighbor. Oh, Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. Y'all think we can maybe convince her to come out here maybe about six months time and give this same goofy ass speech over again. But instead of vaccines, she can talk about reparations. Huh? 
maybe let's talk about some shit that we can really uh, eat off of, right? How we can change the community with that instead of giving us some shit that we don't know the effects of. <sighs> you know, y'all can fall for the okie doke if you want to, but uh, at this date, it's, it's, re- it's real late in the day, right? It's real late in the day at this date and time. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, if you're not doing anything for black people, stop trying to force black people to, to do some shit that's going to benefit white folk, white folks, white people in general. Um, but yeah, I'm, that's it. I'm spent. I know I said some crazy shit, but guess what? If I ain't shit, you ain't shit for watching.